So I was watching a video by DKDKTV, and um, yesterday I watched Former Therapy's video on the subject, and it's about this whole copyright thing. That if you follow me, or you watch my videos, you know I've spoke about it like the past three days. I probably bored the hell out of you mentioning it so often. But on Twitter, I pretty much said watch at least the first two minutes because I'm just telling you to go to any channel that you support, any groups of reactions you support, and let that content creator know. Be careful. This is happening with this company called CJE. And then I'm going to link a bunch of uh, uh, different videos that talk about it down below. You can go like from the people that have the most viewership to the people that don't have, like me and people that are like around my viewership or sub count or that are just starting even like to have less subs than I. Warn whoever you support, whoever you watch of this issue because as a, as a community in general, we don't want this because anything that affects me can affect people like DKTK TV. They can affect um, form of therapy. It can affect camera fill up. It can affect JRE and vice versa. If it affects them. It can affect us. And it's obviously evident by the fact that I got a strike down here with a thousand subs and JRE well over a million got a strike for the same exact reason. Someone I support by the name of Brist Life a lot. Um, I watched him a lot before I even started doing reactions. He's kind of the reason I started doing reactions. He got his channel taken down. And I have this open. Uh, I'm going to try and screenshot. I don't really have to screenshot it because I'm literally reading you the text. I'm not making it up. It's the email that they send you when you get a strike. Uh, it says, Hi, Mind of Mondo. Due to a copyright takedown notice. Due to a copyright takedown notice that we received. So YouTube received a copyright takedown notice. That's what they received. They did not receive a a strike in a box for you. They did not receive that. They received a copyright takedown notice. We had to take down your video from YouTube. Then it says the video that was taken down. It says by who? It says CJ e &M. It's Then it says this means that your video can no longer be played on YouTube. Now you have one copyright strike. If you get multiple strikes, disable your account, prevent that from happening, please don't upload containing content material. Okay. This is where I have the problem. It's the wording of these emails. Who issues these strikes? They didn't, they didn't, uh, these guys didn't specifically talk about that, but that's one of the thoughts I have is like, who issues these strikes? Is it the companies that send the takedown notice or is it YouTube? Because if we find out that it's YouTube that issues the strikes, all they get is takedown notices. That doesn't make your system flawed. It just, you have a system that is completely against an entire community. The reacting community does not just revolve around K-pop. It just so happens that we are the recent victims of this CJ e &M purge. Let's say I, I have no strikes or I have one strike. 12 a.m. hits and I get sleepy. I go to sleep. At 12.01, you go ahead. I'm I'm in deep slumber for like the next six to eight hours. And I get like three, four, five, six, seven takedown notices and get issued three, four, five, six, seven uh, copyright strikes. It's three strikes you're out, right? I get, I get my channel taken down. That's where this whole confusion comes in because... Who, if we find out who issues these these strikes, it's easier to like, because then we could just say, oh, don't react to CJ e and M things, right? Don't react to the live performances. But if it's YouTube, because the way their emails are worded, because also, listen to the rest of this wording. You can also contact the party that removed your video and ask them to retract their takedown. It doesn't say to retract the strike because I believe only YouTube can do that and also I believe only YouTube can issue it. I've contacted CJ and m to try and take, get them to retract the takedown notice so that I can take it down myself and the issue will be resolved. Now, whether them retracting the takedown notice does automatically remove the strike or not does not mean they issue the strike. That could just be how the system is put together. I'm a firm believer that the way this is worded, YouTube issues these strikes, and that is so fucked up. For something as serious as a copyright strike, it's such a vague email. It looks so nice, and then you read it. If we're going to sit here and go by the fact that by the notion, the notion, because it's not necessarily, we don't know if it's true, but I am under the firm belief 
that YouTube, based on the wording of this email, they receive a takedown notice, but they issue the strike. They themselves are working against a community that completely that exists on their channel. I see takedown notices as like cease and desists, and obviously cease and desists take a while to get to you, right? Like if you get a an e uh in the mail, if they write it on one day, you're most likely not going to get it to the next day unless it gets personally delivered. But it's a cease and desist whether it's like you're selling a merchandise with someone else's intellectual property on it, whatever the case may be, and you get told to stop doing it. If I, as the person who uploaded the video, get a takedown notice. Or the video gets blocked worldwide and is also accompanied by a takedown notice where you should uh, uh, take this video down um, before uh, the end of the day here or a certain time frame, like 8 hours, 12 hours, whatever the case may be, or you will be issued a copyright strike. I guarantee you there is no content creator on YouTube that will not take down the video because DKDKTV, Former Therapy, anybody you hear will tell you that they said it themselves, actually. They went and deleted multiple, even the ones that hadn't been claimed or take, uh, gotten takedown notices. He said, uh, DKDKTV said they deleted like 3 million views worth of uh, videos. We understand that we took a risk when we uploaded it. But we're also not dumb in the sense that if we get a takedown notice, we're not going to leave it there. Because regardless, you're going to give us the strike. If our ultimatum is take it down or you get a strike, don't give us the option to immediately fight it. Let me fight it once I get the strike, but don't just straight up give me the strike because you give me no chance at all. Like you give your content creator no chance at all. I really feel bad for um, Briss Life. Um, I know there's another big uh, reactor that I don't, I never really watch videos on just because um, I just, uh, the videos, I, I, I ran into certain ones like just by recommended and I never ran into his. I, I think his name is like Jose or something like that. I don't know his channel, but I'm going to find out at least his Twitter if he has one and leave a link down below. I'm not sure if he's going to start his channel over. I know um, Briss Life already got a new channel and uh, it just sucks, man, because all we can do here is say fix it for the future. But these people that lost their channels when this could have been potentially such a simple solution. The whole problem is me saying the word simple because I don't know how everything works. Nobody really does except for YouTube themselves and we have to try and get their attention. To talk to at least maybe the big time YouTubers, maybe they can collect some information from everybody's ideas. Um, Cause that's what these videos are for, to raise awareness for the whole thing. And I wish there was a hashtag that to get it trending because um, when you like a video and it auto tweets it for you, it'll auto tweet that hashtag that's in the title. And it'll, it can potentially get trending and YouTube can watch it. Listen, like I said, just just go and show support to like any creator, uh, big or small. Um, warn them. Let them know to be careful with CJ e &M and live performances in general. I'm one of those people that I, I, it's hard, I learn, but it's like I got my strike over the weekend and I literally upload another live performance reaction on either Sunday or Monday. I'm being risky as hell. I definitely shouldn't be doing it. Um... But warn everybody about what's going on with CJ and &M, and let's just try and get the attention of YouTube because it's going to be hard to get the attention of CJ and &M, But we're on the platform. YouTube seems to respond to certain things, you know, certain issues on their platform, but not others. Um, we need to get them to pay attention to this one because this one is like... It's literally a purge of like channels in the K-pop community and it needs to stop. We get it. Don't upload copyrighted material, but to an extent you can do it with fair use. But then it's up to the company to decide if that's actually fair use. And when you think it's fair use, you just let's do our best to get the attention. Warn whoever you can. Anyone you support, just warn them. And let's try and see if we can solve this for the future because I... I feel so bad for people that lost their channel and I don't want that to be me and I don't want anyone else to have to deal with that because it's just it's bad. It's, it just really sucks. Also, another thing that DKDK said in her video, which is very true, as much as we can like complain about the issue because it is an issue, we have the right to be a little pretty upset. It's true we should be more vigilant of what we do upload as creators. Um, also, there's the whole like suggestions thing because um i heard uh when i was watching former therapy's video yesterday he said that a lot of people call him an asshole because he ignores some suggestions but he gave his reasons for ignoring certain suggestions and 
it's it's kind of true. Um, I let you guys know that um, you can leave the live performance suggestions, but they probably won't get done until I can think of a way to do them properly, if that's ever going to be a scenario. Maybe if they change this whole system, maybe it's a way to get into doing them. Um, I'd probably still do them with cuts, but to be on the safe side, just like they said in the video, I'd say don't do them. Um, I, I say that, and then I'm probably going to do a few more, but that's me being stupid. <laughs> but it's I guarantee you it is not worth the risk. It is really not. Because people have lost their channels already. There's like literally just evidence of it all over YouTube right now. So just just don't do it. 